Hello, 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 hello. Hope y'all doing good. I pray you're doing good. And if there are any areas where you aren't doing as well as you wish, I pray that Jesus, Jesus would intervene like only he can and make you whole in all of those areas. That is my prayer for you today. Um, today, um, Jesus has laid on my heart a story I want to share and then I'll share a scripture um, that I feel led to share today. A couple years ago, my sister Mia had a dog that she named Soda. Soda. S-O-D-A. His name was Soda. <clears throat> and um, one day, um, Soda was missing. And um, eventually we searched and searched for hours and we found out he had been taken to a shelter. <clears throat> and when we got to the shelter, she walked into the receptionist's desk and she started to speak to let the receptionist know why why she was there and before she could finish we could hear soda in the distance barking barking and so the receptionist said you are you're the mama the say less i know and she went to the back and she she brought him forward and there was that happy ending and so here's a scripture it is John 10, 27. My sheep know my voice and I know them. My sheep know my voice and I know them. And a stranger they will not follow because they do not know his voice. In this season, in this season, we have to draw close to the Father. And we have to have clean hearts, clean hands, so that we can hear his divine instructions. We need to be able to hear his voice. He is speaking. We need ears to hear. We need ears to hear in this season. And, um, and so... And so how do we hear his voice? Mm. You know, I was, um, as I was getting ready for this message, Jesus showed me Gideon and he showed me Samuel and how um, they needed, um, there was, um, I think it was Gideon who doubted hearing God's word and uh, he asked for a sign and um, needed a sign in order to be absolutely sure that he was hearing from Jesus. So we don't always, you know, Jesus speaks to us in many, many, many ways. So there's that unction in, in our spirit, you know, he speaks that way. But the number one way that Jesus speaks to us, what they did not have, what Gideon and Samuel did not have, is the entire Bible. That is God's word and that is his number one way of speaking with us. Um, so today my message is read, meditate on it day and night so that he can use it. That is his number one way to speak to and communicate with his children. Um, that That is it. That is it. He wants us to hear his voice through his written word, through his written word. That's the number one way. I mean, it's great when he speaks in other ways and he always, we can't place him in a box, but uh, that is our assurance. That is the assured way, 100 proof. Um, we can we can rest in confidence that we've heard, um, heard from the Lord when we hear his voice through the um, his written word. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. I will talk to y'all next Saturday.